Hello traders, this is Rich from TradeSite. This is a look at our market leading ETFs via our proprietary scans for the coming session. This is going to be for Monday, March 31st, 2014. A couple special considerations, one of which is that uh, it's going to be the end of the month and more importantly the end of the quarter. So uh, please trade accordingly. Today we're not seeing too much as far as uh, signals. Uh, we do have a contract uh, signal setting up in the uh, in the queues. That means we're uh, we're up on the day, but below the day is open. And that one's on some okay volume. A lot, a lot of the majors are trading down on volume. The diamonds are down on volume, as are the uh, as are the spiders. Looking at the domestic sectors, we don't have a strong bias either way. Got a few signals on each side. A couple of things to uh, point out though. Starting to see some volume creep into the XLV, and we're also seeing a downside uh, CPS signal, so uh, keep that on the radar for Monday. Also, the uh, IBB, uh, they tried to circle the wagons here uh, earlier, but they uh, they crushed it down pretty well and uh, stuffed the buyers. This is 3% below the day's open and 1.5% almost below the uh, the day's VWEP, so a lot of weakness still, a lot of liquidation still in the IBB. Taking a look at the commodities, we're definitely to the sell side here. We saw this uh, in the individual stocks as well uh, as the ETFs here. Uh, fair amount of contra candles setting up. We've got a couple of RPSs setting up as well. Don't have any uh, outright downside CPSs. GDX is 2% uh, above the day's open, but that one does have an RPS uh, sell signal associated with it. They did bounce uh, gold fairly well today, but uh, definitely keep an eye on these for next week. I think these definitely could be in play. A lot of these things are getting close to nine bars down, and we'll take a look at the uh, take a look at the bar counts in just a little bit. As far as the bonds, very very light volume after uh, scratching out new highs uh, in the last couple of sessions. Uh, new highs uh, on the move, and today they're just kind of uh, kind of retracing that just a little bit. Take a look at the foreign names. Fair amount of uh, contra contra signals here, so I'm going to call these uh, call this bias to the downside. We do have some pretty good volume in the FXI. We also have a value, volume bump in the EWU, and that one's got a uh, downside contra candle. Fairly decent volume also in uh, in the EWT, and that one's flirting with a, uh, a downside contra candle as well. So definitely the foreign stuff is uh, is looking a little bit sloppy for Monday, even though they're up on the day. A lot of these are, are playing out below the day's open, a little bit weak here. Let's move on and take a look at the uh, the market market watch and uh, see what the uh, bar counts look like. Okay, here's a look at our watch list. I think the th thing that we need to focus on right now is the uh, is where we are in the exhaustion phase of the of the aggressive seeker. We're up to 12, 12 bars and even 13 in a lot of different names. So this is uh, very ominous. A lot of times the uh, the uh, aggressive version of the seeker won't won't um, catch the absolute high. Uh, a lot of times there'll be a, a, a high impulse put in and it'll come back to retest. And this is this is exactly what it's telling us right now is that we're kind of coming to the end of this impulse. Uh, the diamonds are are uh, 12 days up, IW, IWM 12, 12 days up, MDY 12 days up, and, and on down the list here. So if we do get uh, some movement to the upside uh, next week, just keep in mind that uh, that these uh, these signals are, are, are all looming, and uh, they will be uh, very forceful on the market. As far as the uh, down to the downside, we're not seeing too much to the downside. Uh, we're not really shaping up with anything that's close to uh, uh, close to something we should be looking at buying yet. The only things that are getting a little bit close, at least as far as the uh, the, the startup phase goes, is we're getting a little bit close in the uh, in the IY, IYR, and on the other side, we're getting uh, close to OIH being uh, being uh, nine days up. We're also uh, 13 bars up in the OIH in the uh, countdown. So that would be a that would be a reinforcement on both sides, and so definitely keep that in mind for next week. That could be pretty powerful. All right, folks. As always, thanks for listening. This has been Rich for TradeSite, and please, if you find these uh, tutorials informational, give us a thumbs up.